we do not have a blueprint for a system that would have human level intelligence. It does not exist. The research doesn't exist. The science needs to be done. This is why it's going to take a long time. And so it's, if we're speaking today about how to protect against uh, intelligence systems you know, taking over the world, it's, or, or the dangers of it, regardless of what they are, it's as, we, as if we were talking in 1925 about the dangers of crossing the Atlantic at near the speed of sound when the turbojet was not invented. Um, you know, we don't know how to make those systems safe because we have not invented yet, uh, them yet. Now, once we have a blueprint for a system that can be intelligent, we'll have a blueprint probably for a system that can be controlled as well. Uh, uh, because I don't believe we can build intelligent systems that don't have controlling mechanisms inside of them. We do as humans. Evolution, uh, you know, kind of built, built us with certain drives. We can build machines with the same drives. So that's the first fallacy. The second fallacy is it is not because an entity is intelligent that it wants to dominate or that it is necessarily dangerous. It can solve problems. You can tell it, you can set it goal, the goals for it, and it will uh, fulfill those goals. Um, and the idea that somehow the system is going to come up with you know, its own goals and take, take over humanity is, is just preposterous. It's ridiculous. But to that point, and to the point that Stuart and, and Connor just, just mentioned, you can imagine an infinite number of scenarios when all of those things will go bad. You can do this with any technology. You can do this with AI, obviously. Sci-fi is full of it. Um, you can do this with turbojets. Turbojets can blow up. Um, there is lots and lots of ways to build those systems in ways that will be dangerous, wrong, uh, they'll kill people, etc. But as long as there is at least one way to do it right, that's all we need. And so, for example, there's technology that was developed in the past that was developed at a prototype level and then was decided that it should not be deployed because it would be too dangerous or uncontrollable. Nuclear powered cars. People were talking about this in the 50s. They were prototypes. It was never deployed. Nuclear powered spaceships, same thing. So there are mechanisms in society uh, for to stop the deployment of technology if it's really dangerous and to not deploy it.